Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra problem involving square roots? And what we have here, let y be equals to root 15x minus 41. That is what we have here. Let's use y to represent that. Then from here, Scoring both sides, we have y square equals to square root of 15x minus 41 square. Then from here, square, we cancel square root. Then this gives us y square equals to 15x minus 41. And also from here, let's take 41 to this side. That is, we have y square plus 41 now will then be equal to 15x. So from here, let's use this relation here. That is, 15x can be written as y square plus 41. Then we are given will now become square root of instead of 15x here we write y square plus 41 so we have square root of y square plus 41 then plus 2 times root 15x minus 41 is simply y square now I repeat, it's simply y plus we represented that as y. So here is same thing as y. Then equals to 7 on this side. Then from here, also we can square both sides here. That is, the square on this side. And also take the square on this side. Then square we cancel square root here. This will mean y square plus 41 plus 2y equals to 7 square 7 times 7 and that's 49. Then from here, let's bring 49 to this side and rearrange and this gives us y square plus 2y then plus 41 minus 49 now equals to 0 from here then this becomes y square plus 2y then minus 41 minus 49 that's 8 then equals to 0 from here then we can solve this quadratic equation here using factorization method that is the product which is minus 8 here can be written as 4 times minus 2 and also the sum which is plus 2 same thing as 4 minus 2 that is what we have here now can be written as y square plus 4y minus 2y minus 8 then equals to 0 from here then when we glue this together 2 2 from here here from these two y is common so we have y out, then y plus 4 left. Then here, minus 2 is common. Then also we have y plus 4 left, which is then equals to 0 from here. Then here, we have y plus 4 common. So here we have y plus 4. Then into bracket y minus 2 equals to zero from here then two cases the fourth we have y equals to minus four and also we have y equals to two then from here let's recall that we have y square plus 41 equals to 15x then from that relation which we have here, 
we can use it here for the first case when y is minus 4 that means here we have minus 4 square then plus 41 equals to 15x then here minus 4 square same as 16 then we have 16 plus 41 equals to 15x and here 16 plus 41 same thing as 57 so we have 57 here equals to 15x and here to get x divide both sides by 15 so here 15 cancel out then we are left with x which is equal to 57 over 15 and we can reduce this as x equals to 19 over 5 so we have one value of x here then also on this side using the same relation here when y equals to 2 now it becomes 2 square plus 41 equal to 15x then here 2 squared as 4 plus 41 equals to 15x then here this is 45 equals to 15x also to get x divide both sides by 15 and from here 15 cancel out we are left with x which is equal to 45 over 15 and from here x is equal to 3 so now let's check for these two solutions and which one will satisfy this given problem from what we are given here let's put the first value of x we have which is x equals to 19 over 5 then from here this becomes square root of 15 multiplied by 19 over 5 then plus here we have 2 root 15 times 19 over 5 then minus 41 here we did be equals to 7 then from what we have here 5 here is 1 5 here 3 then also we have 5 here 1 5 here 3 and 3 times 19 there we give us 57 so we have square root of 57 here then plus 2 root here we have 57 minus 41 with this be equals to 7 on this side then here we have 57 minus 41 here same thing as 16 then we have square root of 57 plus 2 root 16 is this equals to 7 then here this same thing as root 57 plus 2 times root 16 here is 4 is this equals to 7 and from here we have root 57 plus 8 from here is the side equal to 7 then here we have root 65 now and from here root 65 is not equals to 7 from here so this side will be greater than 7 so the left hand side is not equals to the right hand side and here x equals to 19 over 5 is not a solution to this problem now let's check for x equals to 3 for x equals to 3 here then what we have is on square root of 15 times 3 then plus 2 root 
is C, phase 3, then minus 41, is it equal to 7? Then here, 15 times 3, here we have 45, so we have square root of 45 plus 2 root 45 minus 41, is it equal to 7? And here, this is square root of 45, then plus 2 times 45 minus 41, we have 4, that's root 4. Will this be equal to 7? And root 4 here is 2, so we have 2 times 2, that's 4. So we have root 45 plus 4, is it equal to 7? Then this is root 49 here. Is it equal to 7? And root 49 is same thing as 7. So we have 7 here, which is equal to 7. Now, left hand side is equal to right hand side. And hence, x equals to 3 here satisfies the given problem. And uh, the solution to this given problem is simply x equals to 3. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. See you next time. Bye for now.